In today's video, we'll be talking about how to access a phone's internal storage remotely. Let's jump right in. Now, to be able to access a phone's internal storage remotely, you need to download and install on the phone you want to access an app called an FTP server. There are so many of them on the Play Store, so just look around. Anyone that you are comfortable with, just download and install. Now, FTP is uh, an acronym for File Transfer Protocol. The File Transfer Protocol allows devices to be able to communicate with each other. And it works in a server-client configuration. That means there has to be a server that provides the files and there has to be a client that is downloading the files. So when you have downloaded and installed the FTP server on your target device, you have to go to your client device. That is the device you intend to use in accessing the files. Assuming this is the server is device A, your client will be your device B. Having installed the two, two apps on the two phones, you start and run your FTP server on device A. Once you've done that, of course, both of them have to be connected to the same network. Either it's Wi-Fi or mobile data or any form of network you want to connect to. Now, once you run the FTP server, on the device interface, you will find an IP address there, which is going to save, serve as a way of identifying your server, you know, on the internet, basically. So you copy the IP address and the port number alongside other credentials. In some cases, you have a username or a user ID and a password, etc. So you just copy whatever credentials you have on your FTP server. You go to your second device, which is your FTP client, and then set up your FTP client to communicate with your FTP server. Once you've done that, that is by typing in your IP address, typing in the port number, the user ID and the password, etc. It enables you to, to, to communicate. So once you've been able to enter that on the second device that is to receive information, automatically you will see you have all the folders that are in device A listed on the screen of device B. Automatically you can scroll through the documents, you can scroll to the pictures, the videos, and all the files that exist on your FTP server device, and then you can download them as you deem fit. And if you are worried that somebody is already accessing your device remotely using either FTP technology or any form of technology, just scroll through your device. Any app that you are not sure why you installed the app or who installed the app on your device, please, I would advise that you uninstall such apps. It might be serving as a security threat on your device. It might be creating a hole for somebody to access either your camera or your device storage or your microphone or any part of your device that you would not want a third party to have access to. If this video was useful to you, please smash the like button and look on the screen. You will find another interesting video from us and then click and watch and we'll see you in that next video.